Justin, welcome to uh, to Brumby. Thank you, thank you. How's your first time in the club been? Oh, I've loved it so far. The group is amazing. Staff is amazing. Uh, the stadium, everything, training, really enjoyed it so far. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, why you, you chose to come to Brumby uh, as of now, um, changing from, uh, from FC Dallas? Yeah, so, I mean, before this, I was playing in the Bundesliga in Hoffenheim. Um, you know, it's a good league. Um, but sometimes a player needs to go somewhere, you know, where he can take another learning process, uh, a next step, you know, a stepping stone. And for me, I thought Bromby was the, the perfect situation for that. When did you first learn about the interest from, uh, from Bromby? Not too long ago, actually. I would say maybe a week and a half ago. Um, you know, things in football go pretty quick. Um, you know, you can wait for some time and then all of a sudden, boom, it's there. And then, you know, you need to be ready for the next step ready you know to get back to work and yeah just get, re get ready for the season and so what's your first uh, thought when you're okay Denmark Brumby did you know anything about the the club the country yeah so um, I actually had a few teammates in Hoffenheim that you know came from Denmark um, you know Robert Skoff Thomas um, Delaney a couple of friends of mine that were also playing in Hoffenheim so I kind of knew a little bit about the Superliga here and yeah once I found out that Bromby has interest. You know, we all know Bromby has a good history, big fans. It's a successful club. I was I was excited for it. Mm -hmm. And um, what type of player are you? Like, what are your qualities, and what are you hoping to bring to to Bromby? Yeah, I'm hoping to be, um, you know, most of all a team player to help the team. Um, you know, push us the season. I think I'm someone with good athletic capabilities, but also technically, I'm also talented. Um, but most importantly, hard work. I think it's very important as a footballer to give 100% for your team. Um, even when things sometimes don't go well, um, as you want them to, it's always important to continue working and working to get better for yourself, but also to push your team to the next level. Mm. And when you look at this Bramby team and, and the way they play with, the, with wingbacks, um, could you see yourself in there? Or also because you also played a bit of central uh, defender? Early? For me, I'm open to anything, to be honest. Like I said, um, as a footballer, it's very important to be a team player. If the coach wants you to play in this position one game and the next position or the next game another position, you just need to be open to everything. Mm. And what are your first impression of like the level here? Now, you, you, as you said, you were last season in the, in Hoffenheim. Yes, um, I like the level a lot. You know, it's a high level. Today we had a very intense training. We played some small sided, and I, th I thought the level was really good. Um, all the boys are working hard, getting ready for this first game this weekend. So I think, yeah, the level is up here for sure. Are you excited about that first very game? Very excited. And very to see excited. the fans? Yeah, yeah. Even though it's an away game, you know, I think the first game is one of the most important games in the season just to, you know, set it off right. Um, you know, next weekend is also a home game. So we just need to continue to progress from here. Yeah. Um, Justin, can you tell us a little bit about your... Um like your background, um, because of course football is, a, is the biggest sport in, yeah. in Denmark and in most countries in Europe, but I know in, in the US you also have like basketball or baseball, or American football. So, so how did it end up being uh, football for you? For me, um, you know, my inspiration is my father. He also um, played football. He grew up in Cameroon and um, you know, he faced many challenges um, to his football career. Especially back then, you know, times were a little bit different. It was a little bit more difficult. And um, yeah, my father played in Poland, he played in Germany, kind of played everywhere in Europe. Um, and he kind of inspired me to play football at a young age. When I grew up, I was also playing a little bit of basketball, like you're saying, um, on the side. But I knew deep down that football for me was number one. So throughout the years, you know, I have grandparents. My mom is German and my grandparents live in Germany. It's not too far from where I was staying in Hoffenheim, about 30 minutes. And, um, you know, in the summers we would always come to Germany and we would play football here with different academies, kind of train to see, you know, what level I'm at to develop as a player. And, um, yeah, throughout the years I already knew at a young age I wanted to make the move to Europe and play football here because everyone knows in Europe, you know, football is at the highest level. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my background and my story in terms of you know playing here in Europe. 
But so then your your father and your family must also be proud that you're now on that. Journey. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'm very young still. Mm. You know, there's a lot of things to learn, a lot of work to do. Um, but for now, you know, I can be proud of the things that I've accomplished. But um, yeah, like I said, it's time to put your head down and continue working. Yeah. So you've been in, uh, in two very big uh, German clubs uh, in Bayern Munich and, uh, of course, lastly, lastly Hoffenheim. What did you learn there that you can use now in, uh, in the next step of your career? Yeah, so I would say in Bayern, I learned a lot. Um, you know, I learned that sometimes football doesn't go the way you want it to. Um, you know, even though you put in the hard work, there's also things in the background that sometimes don't go as planned as you want them to. I was playing with the second team in Bayern and I was also training with the first team and I was going to, um, you know, stay in Bayern, um, sign a contract there. But, you know, football sometimes changes its course. And, you know, I went back to FC Dallas and um, then I went to Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim, I learned a lot of things, especially mentally as a footballer that sometimes you face challenges. Um, you know, when things aren't going well like you want, but you're not playing as much. but I learned that at the end of the day, it's very important to continue working, um, you know, each and every training, even though you maybe not be on the roster um, at the weekend, but you never know who's watching. And, you know, you're not really working to impress someone else, but you're working for yourself. And um, I think I learned a lot in that sense from my football career, no matter where I go, that the most important thing is to work hard because at the end of the day, like I said, you never know who's watching and when your op your next opportunity will come. Mm. Was it a hard one to take with the with the Bayern uh, there? Yeah, I mean, especially at a young age, I guess 16, 17 was a hard one to take in a way. Um, obviously, you had your hopes up and, you know, you really worked hard for the opportunity, for the chance that, you know, you felt like you deserved. Um, and, you know, most kids, especially Young kids would love to play at a club at Bayern. But like I said, sometimes there's things in the background in football that you can't control that, um, you know, change the, change the root of things. And you just need to be able to adapt to it and continue pushing forward because the only person that knows your future is God. And, um, you know, maybe you think one thing is the best, but in the background, the way, the direction that you're going may actually be the best for you and you never knew it. So. Mm. But a constant throughout your football career has been FC Dallas. Yes. Um, what does that club mean to you? So FC Dallas is a club where I grew up playing in America. Um, I grew up, um, my dad was a coach at the club. He still works there as a coach. And, you know, since a little kid, I grew up playing in the club through the, you know, select teams and then into the academy. And then, um, you know, I, I've had a few coaches in my career that have, really pushed me to the next level. And, you know, I want to thank them for the belief that they've had in me so far in my journey. Uh, you know, without them, it wouldn't be possible. Um, but yeah, Dallas is kind of the club that, you know, pushes players, um, you know, for the trainings, for the hard work. Um, and then I guess Dallas helps many players develop to the next level so that they can take that jump to Europe. Mm -hmm. And um, number 46. Yes. What's the story? Because so, there is a story. Yeah, so the story is basically 46 was my first professional number, if you want to say. Um, I was playing with the Dallas second team, um, USL League One. And um, yeah, that's kind of my, where my journey kind of started with that number. And yeah, I just thought it's not a bad idea to wear the number here in Bonby. So. All right, Justin, uh, thanks so much for, uh, for joining us here. We're looking forward to see you, uh, you. when you get your debut. Thank um, you, thank you. But you are fit to play whenever the coach needs you. Of course, you. always. Great, thanks. No problem. Yep. <laughs>